Hey, YouTube people. All right, so as you can see, I'm in a different setting right now than usual. Um, my brother's sleeping upstairs, so I get the basement, which is so cold right now. That's why I have this in my house coat. I'd rather be wearing it, but I'm trying not to look like a total slob in this video. Um, so anyways, I wanted to make an update because, as usual, I am switching plans for the millionth time because I'm horrible and I never stick to one thing very long. But technically I'm still sort of sticking to it. So here it goes. Anyways, I was doing keto for almost another month now. I've done it for a month before, um, probably more than a month. Um, and then I went off of it and then I started again and now I've done it for like, yeah, like I said, like about a month. Um, but I decided to switch again, and this time, like, it was almost for the same reasons as last time, but this time, like, I have a plan, and I know what I'm doing, and I wanted to change, like, it wasn't just unplanned. Um, so basically, what happened the first time I did keto was that my hair started falling out like crazy. Um, don't know why. I'm not sure why this is a thing. Um, I tried every single vitamin you can think of, increasing my protein intake, hair products, um, everything, and it didn't stop until I went off of keto and I started eating carbs again, and then it just stopped right away. Don't know what it was. Um, and I mean, it could have been just like the switch of diet, um, could have just affected my hair growth in general, could have changed up the hormones and like a bunch of different things in my body. But I wasn't really willing to risk losing half my head of hair to find out. So I switched off of it. And then a little while ago, I thought maybe I was crazy. Maybe it wasn't keto. So I tried keto again. Um, and again, my hair started falling out at about the like two and a half week mark again. <clears throat> so this... I decided to come up with a different plan that would help me remain at least partially low carb but also get the benefits of having carbs in my diet to hopefully keep my hair from falling out. <laughs> so this is why I switched over to carb backloading which is basically where you eat low carb throughout the morning. Um, you normally would do something similar to intermittent fasting, so you would skip breakfast and then um, eat low carb for the rest of your ma meals until you get to uh, your workout, and then you do your workout, and right after your workout, you are allowed all of your carbs for the day. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I have been doing intermittent fasting kind of along with it. I wasn't planning on doing intermittent fasting to the extreme or being super strict about it, but honestly, I found it not as hard as I thought it would be. And for the past, well, on the weekends, I ended up doing um, a 21-hour fast and then a 22-hour fast, not even trying that hard. It just kind of happened. So that was pretty cool. Um, I haven't noticed a hunger difference since I started back doing carb backloading instead of um, keto. Honestly, I think my hunger and cravings are way better um, than I, when I was on keto. Um, I've also noticed increased energy. My strength has gone way back up again. I just feel so, so much better. And the thing is, I'm still eating basically keto all day. And then like when I go into my fast, I'm basically back into ketosis again because I'm fasting so long. So it's pretty cool to get the best of both worlds, and then I get all the carbs to refuel my body after my workout, and it just goes straight into my muscles because they're so depleted, and yeah, it's just a really good setup. If you haven't heard of carb backloading before, I highly recommend you like check it out, have, read about the science behind it, because it makes a lot of sense, um, and it does kind of relate to keto. But anyways, yes, so I am eating carbs again. I'm not on keto technically anymore, but I am going in and out of ketosis occasionally. Um, I feel so much better. I just, everything's just better. My workouts are better. 
Uh, cravings are better. If keto doesn't work for you, I highly, highly recommend carb backloading because it's a really good, like, in between. And I'm finding that I'm eating less doing carb backloading because I don't want to eat so much food all in one sitting, so it makes me not eat quite so much. And I have a really big appetite, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, intermittent fasting, I think, is the coolest thing ever. I'm also reading a lot of about the science behind that right now. And um, it, I've heard things where you shouldn't do it as a female because it can mess with your hormones and all this stuff. So I am basically my own self-experiment. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, so far, I'm loving it. And I know there are a lot of females out there who do do intermittent fasting and like it. So we'll see. And I'll let you guys know. But anyways, that is my update. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.